Hi, I'm Doug Pat, and this is Drafting Tools 101, where we take a look at many of the tools I use when drawing, drafting, and model making, which is what we're going to discuss in this episode. A good model can really bring a design to life and leave a lot of the guesswork out of the finished product. With the invention of 3D printing, we're able to make very detailed models using computers and the right equipment. But there's also something very satisfying about making a model by hand. What we're going to cover today can be done by anyone, whether you're just starting or you've worked in a design profession for years. No matter the type of model you make, you'll need something to cut on, something to cut with, and something to cut. That is, you'll need a work surface, a material, and a blade to make the model. Let's take a look at the cutting surface first. Lots of people make the mistake of cutting right on the surface of their table. Cutting mats were made for model making. They come in a variety of sizes, they're designed to be used over and over again, and they're much easier to replace than a tabletop or a vinyl surface. And some even come with guides and grids printed right on them to help line up the object you're cutting. Now, there are tons of options to cut things well. Generally, I like to keep a few handy. You'll probably want a large or heavy-duty blade to make deep cuts with less detail. You'll also want a smaller, more precise knife for cutting detailed or intricate cuts. The big takeaway here is when cutting with any blade, make several light passes rather than trying to cut through in just one. This makes cuts more accurate and it's safer too. Another tip is to change the blade in your cutting tool often. A fresh blade makes cleaner cuts. Now, let's look at model materials. When choosing one, start with something easy to use and readily available. Foam core is a great place to start. It's light and easy to cut. Balsa and basswood are also another good choice. They're both relatively soft, versatile materials that glue well. They also come in handy pre-cut boards to suit your needs. But most frequently, I use cardboard and chipboard. They're both easy to draw lines on, easy to cut, and they glue super well. Plus, they're great for fast, inexpensive models. Architects, engineers, and designers make models, not only to see the final product, but to test ideas and explore outcomes. I also believe that as we work with our hands, we discover more than if we simply plug information into a computer. Also remember, be realistic. It can take a lot of time and practice to make good models. So thanks for watching and join us next time as we take another look at the wonderful world of drawing, drafting, and model making tools. Thank you.